Now at WGN investigates exclusive. The legal trouble may not be over for a Chicago priest who went to prison for molesting young boys, but is now a free man. Tonight, we've learned former priest Dan McCormack set for a lengthy deposition today. The first time he's ever been asked to answer questions under oath. We first found Chicago's most infamous pedophile priest last October. Hey Dan, Ben Bradley from WGN. Fresh out of prison and living downtown. What did you learn in, in prison and in your time? A lot more about myself. I mean, it breaks you down to the lowest level. McCormick pled guilty to abusing five boys back in 2007. He served five years in prison, then spent what was supposed to be an indefinite amount of time at a state facility for sexually violent people. Last summer, though, an appellate court ended that confinement. Despite expert testimony that predicted McCormick had a 22% risk of recidivism after 10 years, the appellate court said those odds do not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that McCormick was substantially likely to reoffend, And that is why Dan McCormick is walking free today. Do you regret what you did? Of course. Yeah. But you don't think you're still a threat? I do not. And how did you get past that? How do you... How do, you, how do you come to that conclusion? Well, when you lose everything, when you do therapy, when you work on it, you start to believe that. But attorneys for more alleged victims, kids McCormick was never charged with abusing, have other plans. There was no question, there was more talking about your interview. Attorney Gene Hollander has settled nine cases involving Father McCormick. Ten others are pending. They accuse the now defrocked priest of molesting young boys during his time at St. Agatha's Roman Catholic Church on the city's west side. Father McCormick, anything you want to say? McCormick pleaded guilty to the criminal case and has never answered questions under oath until now. WGN Investigates has learned McCormick spent hours being deposed Wednesday by attorneys in several pending civil cases. His demeanor was really pretty flat and um, matter of fact. Uh, to me, I, you know, he didn't show any remorse at all. A video of the disgraced priest's deposition was not available, but attorneys say he was asked nearly 500 questions, but invoked his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination almost every time. Several of the lawsuits specifically target the Catholic Bishop of Chicago, claiming the diocese acquiesced to McCormick's continued involvement in school and parish activities after they knew or should have known of McCormick's abuse. Aside from the culpability, there's also the unanswered question about how many children fell victim to this pedophile priest while he was only charged with abusing five boys subsequent civil litigation and church settlements indicate there may have been as many as 30 or more victims over the years attorneys know the alleged number but a court order prevents them from saying i did ask him specifically did you know john doe did you meet him at saint agatha's or saint albies uh, Mr. Doe alleges that you did this to him. Did you do that? And regarding all of those victims, regarding all of those allegations, he invoked the Fifth Amendment. When we found Dan McCormick last fall, the man who deceived his faith and his flock claimed he was cured. Because it's difficult to move on. With. And a man who claimed he was on the road to recovery. Some people say you're still a threat. What do you say to them? Again, uh, like I said before, I can't change their minds except to, to prove it. I don't believe I am, but that will just take time to prove that to other people. The Archdiocese of Chicago refused to comment on the deposition, the lawsuits, or say how many victims church investigations have uncovered, or how much the church has paid to settle McCormick cases. The former priest's attorney did not respond to our request for comment.